Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. As you may know, Eric Kinsel developed the key mod standard when he was working at Voltor. So it was only natural for people to expect that Bravo Company would be producing key mod handguards and accessories once they hired him on as director of research and development. Well, the wait's finally over. Bravo Company has released their KMR key mod handguard and they're about to introduce a whole line of key mod accessories. The KMR combines a really lightweight proprietary alloy with an incredibly efficient method of attachment and Bravo Company is offering this all at a really good price. And that's why the KMR handguard from Bravo Company is what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The KMR is Bravo Company's free-floating key mod handguard for the AR-15 rifle. It's made from a magnesium aluminum alloy that's just as strong as 6061T6 with only 60% of the weight. Key mod mounting is available on seven sides with the standard 1913 rail system on the top. You'll probably notice that the key mod slots are staggered, and this gives the KMR added strength. Since the key mod holes aren't aligned, Bravo Company was able to make the KMR about as small as you can make a full key mod handguard. Bravo Company currently offers both a 10 inch and 13 inch KMR on their complete uppers or alone. 9 and 15 inch KMRs are expected to be available sometime in April. Because the KeyMod standard is free for anyone to use, you'll find other handguards that look like the KMR just as most quad rails look like each other. However, no other handguard will mount the same way as the KMR does. And this is what really makes the KMR stand out. Eric Kinsel designed a very clever system that makes mounting a KMR easier than most other handguards while resulting in a much more secure attachment. The handguard kits come with just about everything you'll need for installation. All the parts are packaged to keep them organized and to prevent them from falling out of the box during shipping. You also get two polymer Picatinny rail sections with both the KMR handguard kits and KMR complete uppers. I guarantee that the first thing you're going to notice about the KMR is how exceptionally light the handguard is. Even the mounting hardware is minimized in order to keep the weight well below other non-quad rail handguards. However, the KMR has a lot more than weight savings to offer. Its attachment system could make the KMR worth considering all on its own. It starts with a lightweight barrel nut that requires no indexing with either the gas tube or the handguard. You just torque it to spec and it's good to go. It's exactly the same diameter as a receiver extension castle nut and this is no coincidence. Though Bravo Company includes an installation tool with a handguard kit, the barrel nut spanner slots are spec the same as a castle nut. In a pinch, you could use a castle nut wrench to remove or install the KMR barrel nut. Alternatively, the KMR barrel nut tool also makes a great half-inch drive castle nut wrench. The cross bolts are where the real genius of this design come in. One cross bolt is notched, allowing the other to keep it from rotating. It's impossible for the handguard to come loose without a cross bolt noticeably protruding from the clamp blocks first. The cross bolts pass through the groove in the barrel nut, securing the KMR front to rear even before the handguard is fully tightened onto the nut. In short, there's no way for a KMR to accidentally separate from the upper receiver unless you fail to realize both cross bolts backing completely out. Because its cross bolts clamp above the barrel nut, the KMR solves a design weakness common to many free float handguards. Clamping a handguard at either the bottom or the sides drives the barrel nut like a wedge into the gas tube channel. The clamping force thus depends entirely on the strength built into that channel, and since aluminum expands from heat three times faster than steel, Hard use can cause the handguard to come loose from the barrel nut. The KMR cross bolts put the gas tube channel in tension instead, creating an even clamping force nearly all the way around the barrel nut. This means less material is needed to ensure that the KMR stays tight even after getting very hot from hard use. The index plate is yet another KMR innovation. It aligns the handguard with the receiver during installation, then serves as a barrel nut anti-rotation device once the cross bolts are torqued to spec. Its location also means that the KMR is compatible with any upper receiver that follows mill spec in just that small area under the rail. All of this makes the KMR very easy to install. After lightly oiling the surface of the barrel nut and heating the KMR with the heat gun, the handguard slides right on up to about where it meets the index plate. This is the most critical part of the installation because you need to make sure that plate is aligned with the slot in the KMR. In order to ensure that I don't seat the KMR too far, I installed the rear cross bolt to act as an installation stop. This step really isn't necessary, but if you're having trouble getting the cross bolt holes lined up with the groove on the barrel nut, it will help. A few light taps of a rubber mallet seated the rear cross bolt against the rear of the barrel nut, allowing easy installation of the front cross bolt. 
All that's left is to torque the cross bolts to spec, starting with the notched cross bolt and finishing with the locking cross bolt. As you can see, with no special attention needed for aligning the KMR during installation, the Picatinny rail transitions perfectly with the rail on the upper receiver. I'd already put a couple hundred rounds through this upper before doing this mag dump, and now the barrel is hot enough that the oil is smoking off of it. So I've run quite a few mags through this, and I don't normally shoot a full mag like that, double taps, but I'm trying to get this thing really hot, and uh, you can see the smoke coming off of the barrel from, there's some oil on there, uh, but I can feel the heat coming through the handguard, but the handguard itself, it's still really cool. There's no need, at least at the pace that I'm going, to have any kind of heat guard with this key mod rail. That's really nice. Of course, you might shoot at a pace that can give even a hammer forge barrel a run for its money. And that's why Bravo Company is coming out with protective panels. They won't be ready until the summer of 2014, but in the meantime, you could use protective panels from other companies like Noveski. Though the shape of these Noveski panels is specifically for their NSR key mod rail, they do attach with the key mod standard. Though the individual non-locking pieces do rock back and forth a bit, they aren't going to fall out as long as they're backed by a locking piece. However, the full panels are much more stable and they do have a pretty slick look on the KMR. Bravo Company offers several Picatinny rail options in addition to the included polymer 5 and 7 slot panels. There's also a 9 slot rail and all sizes are available in aluminum. The polymer is tough enough for just about anything you'd attach to a KMR in the first place and their low cost makes them an attractive option. However, the aluminum rails are nice when you want added peace of mind. What I really like is the taper of the Bravo Company rail sections. It makes a much nicer transition between the rail and the handguard with no sharp edges to catch on your gear or your skin. You can see the benefit very clearly when looking at this vertical foregrip. Of course, this setup will be replaced by Bravo Company's soon to be released key mod vertical grip once it's available. But in the meantime, the tapered rail section makes this a very comfortable combination. The KMR dimensions allow rail sections to be placed side by side. This is useful if you need to overlap the ends of rail sections in order to place accessories where you want them, though you won't be able to mount anything in the slots that overlap. Even though the idea is that eventually you'll be able to find just about any accessory you want in a direct attached key mod version, the rails allow some pretty cool key mod hacks. I used a 7 slot aluminum rail to turn my Elzetta ZRX into a cantilevered light mount with fewer pieces than are required by many existing mounts. I used another 7 slot section to make a two camera quick detach system for my Replay XDs, and key mod is what made this possible. I do prefer using key mod accessories when available, which is why I now have a Thorntail light mount from IWC. Though I still might use it to mount my Alzetta, the Thorntail base puts my TLR1 in a perfect position. The mount is out of the way during the daytime, but the switch is just a thumb flick away when the light is needed. There's really only one negative that I found with the KMR and it has to do with the durability of the finish. Though the finish is very durable on the flat spots and it's got a very nice look and texture, it is especially fragile on any sharp edges like on the edge of the Picatinny rail or the inside of the key mod slots themselves. You are going to find that if you attach and remove an accessory or even some rail panels that the finish will flake off in those areas. Bravo Company assures me that this is purely cosmetic. It doesn't influence the corrosion resistance of the handguard at all. And if you've been watching my videos long enough, you know that those little nicks on a rail don't really bother me. Plus, Bravo Company isn't exactly making products for people who want to treat these things as safe queens. But if little nicks in a finish is something that bothers you, it's something to keep in mind. That said, I think the KMR handguards are gonna be extremely popular even with people who aren't necessarily buying them because they are key mod. They are almost ridiculously light. They're extremely well built. They've got a great attachment system and they're coming in at a great price. And with how well this turned out, I can't wait to see what other key mod accessories Bravo Company introduces. If you want to learn more about the KMR handguard from Bravo Company, be sure to click the link in the video description below. 
If you like this video, please take the time to log in and click the like button or the plus button on Google+. YouTube needs to know that you like firearms-oriented programming. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twangabang, and I hope to see you next time.